just going to see how it goes and then I'll show the modifications. Okay. Yeah, I think the battery died. Can I get it? Yes. Okay, so this is the flight of the Rajet on 4S, throttle limited to 80%. And I'll just show you some of the performance mods. Thanks, Baba. I'm recording, I just want to talk. So, I've got the speed indicator and then an air speed indicator as well which we'll just have a look at and see what it was doing uh, there's a 35 kilometer an hour crosswind here so not that easy to fly it was always flying crosswind but I'll just look at the speed indicators and see what they show and the speed indicator is showing 1 1 I think it's a 6160, 160 k's an hour. That's the airspeed indicator, the Eagle Tree to the pitot tube. These obviously connect with magnets, that's standard from the kit. Um, but I haven't stuck this down. It's got a little dial stick at the back that goes in. Magnets over here, which just lock in over there. And uh, you can see this carbon fibre toe that I've run through the top of the wing. Just wick it in with cyano because the toes obviously little bits of thread. It gets really, really hard and really, really strong. And the beauty is it can follow the contour of the wing rather than cutting in a solid spar. This is detachable. The motor mount at the back. It's got these plastic wing mount bolt screws, which could essentially break off, I suppose. And then just some insulation tape at the back holding it on. It's a 28, 36, 3200 kV. At the moment, I'm lifting it, um, limiting it to about 55 amps. I'm just worried about the motor, not speed control or anything. This is a Scorpion 125 amp speed control, which I used to have in a 5, 5S fun jet. So it can easily handle the amps. And the reason why I'm using it is it's got a much thinner and lower profile than the Plush 60, which I had in here. I had difficulty fitting the top on with the Plush 60 obviously battery up here and that's just to stop the battery moving forward to uh, maintain the correct center of gravity so you can see from that windsock out there and that not a great day for a test flight it's blowing about 30-35k an hour 15 to 20 knots is what the forecast says so hopefully I'll bring some more flight videos and uh, wind up the motor fully and it's a bit more trimmed out. I needed quite a bit of up trim at the moment, so maybe the sense of gravity is still a bit forward. Even though it's already back from the stated sense of gravity position, and in fact it's over there. But you see those black dots in the handhold position, so really quite far back. And then, I, as I've previously said, once again I've whipped in a carbon fibre tow, which goes to about there on the plane. And that just brings great rigidity to the nose. And I've done that on fun jets, which uh, 5S fun jets, to strengthen them and bring some rigidity, stops the flex in the buzz at high speeds, works very well.